booktube my name is shannon or tris prior currently because it is day five day four it's thursday so it's day four of the booktube -thon, and the challenge today is to cosplay one of your favorite characters i chose tris prior because i absolutely love her and I just thought it would be a costume that I could actually put together and replicate pretty accurately. What I've decided to do is a get ready with me video. So I told you how I did my makeup and then I did a little cosplaying in my yard to show you the costume in action. <laughs> I'm also actually doing a booktube -thon vlog today that will be up tomorrow, but I decided to separate the challenge video from that so that I can actually get the challenge up in time. Anyway, without further ado, I am going to show you how I got this look as Triss Pryor. Okay, tripod is set up. I'm going to take out my braids to do my hair and all of this, and Please excuse the fact that my bed isn't made. I'm washing my sheets currently. And also, if you can hear cicadas in the background, I definitely can hear them um, because they're obnoxiously loud. But, like, it's July. I can't shut them off. They're always just obnoxiously there in July. If you don't know what a cicada is, it's like this desert bug thing and it's nasty looking. But <laughs> they make... A buzzing noise and it's ridiculous but we always have them so yeah just deal with it <laughs> so I braided my hair last night because I wanted to have wavy hair like this today but then like I'm trying to do a cosplay of Triss and this looks more like Hermione just less poofy than Hermione um so I don't know this is what I'm working with as far as hair goes today. I'll probably put it up in a ponytail for like the actual cosplay, but like, look how pretty it is. I wanna leave it in these waves. <laughs> okay, I decided I'm doing this challenge for fun, so I might as well just wear my hair how I want it. And there are parts in the movie of Divergent where she wears her hair down and like, my hair's already inaccurate to the book because Look how dark my hair is. And in the book, Triss is blonde. So, you know, I think I'm just gonna do my hair how I want and just dress like her and do my makeup and outfit like her. <laughs> I'm going to imitate Triss's look using this photo. She has her hair in a ponytail and I feel like I need to do mine that way. Uh, maybe I will. Just do this. Oh, it's caught in my helix piercing. Oh boy. Um, and kind of brush it back into a ponytail. I can't be inaccurate and I don't do things halfway. So I guess my beautiful hair is gonna have to be braided again tonight and I can wear it like that tomorrow. But for now, because of today's booktube -thon challenge, we're putting my hair in a ponytail. <laughs> so for makeup, I'm using this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, and I'm just going to apply that all over my face to smooth out my complexion and um, conceal any blemishes. And the only makeup that is ever really mentioned in the book that she wears is eyeliner. So I'm actually not going to apply any concealer. It just doesn't seem like um, something that Triss would wear or feel like she needs. And so I'm just going to put some Maybelline powder on. I know they're not cruelty free. I'm working on using up all of my non cruelty free products and then I will replace them as I use them up with cruelty free products. But I'm just using the puff in here that comes with it to blend powder onto my face because I have extremely oily skin and I need powder if I want anything to stay on, especially in the summer and when I'm going outside 
because I want to do that challenge today of reading a book outside. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm going to go to the library, try to finish Because You Love to Hate Me, and then we'll see if I have time to read outside at all. So Triss's face doesn't look too contoured, so I'm just going to take a tiny bit of bronzer around the edges of my face to um, look a little bit more tan like she is in the movie. I have no idea how to like look like Triss from the book um, because I just don't look like her. So <laughs> we're going for the Shailene Woodley movie Triss kind of look today because I do look somewhat like her enough to replicate the look. So I'm just putting a little of this NYX um, matte bronzer around the edges of my face to make me look just a little bit more bronze. Very, very good description, Shan. <laughs> and then I'm also accentuating my collarbones because hers are pretty prominent and I think that just makes it more accurate or whatever I'm trying to do. <laughs> and then I'm using a Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. These are my favorite because she does have blush on in the movie. It's quite light so I'm tapping off the excess and just applying a tiny bit of blush to the apples of my cheeks. I thought I was gonna speed this clip of me doing my makeup up but up 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 um, but I'm having too much fun talking about the process of actually turning myself into Triss the best that I can. So I think I'm just going to keep explaining what I'm doing, even though this is going to be like a 50 minute vlog. So now I am using the Anastasia brow powder to fill in my brows slightly, just make them a little bit more shaped like hers are. And it's really weird because I usually do my brows in a pretty like square um, angle at the end and then um, make a tiny tail as best as I can. I really need to pluck my eyebrows at the moment, but it's just her eyebrows are shaped a little more naturally and less, um, built up than I usually do mine, so I'm trying to replicate that, but it's kind of difficult just because my eyebrows don't, um, look that much like hers. But I'm doing my best, so I'm just filling in the spots that are a little darker on her brows and making mine a little bit more like hers are. Actually, my natural brows, I'm realizing, are kind of like her eyebrows. Um, I just do mine a little more heavily than she has hers done in the movie. But, I mean, I think that looks pretty much like it's supposed to. Oh no, this one's getting more squarish like I do mine. <laughs> I am so, like, used to doing them a certain way that it feels weird to try and look like Triss, but it's kind of fun. I've actually cosplayed Triss once before. Like I said, I used the tattoo um, the temporary tattoo that I had for Allegiant premiere. I can't remember if it was Insurgent or Allegiant that I used it for, but when it came out in theaters, I went the day it came out and dressed as Triss, and so I basically wore the same outfit that day, but yeah, so I think that's all I'm gonna do for brows because hers aren't that intense in the movie. They're just darker. And so I'm just going to put some brow gel to keep them in place all day. And those are my eyebrows. I think she has like a light brown in her crease and on the outer C of her eyelid. So I think I'm going to do that just with my taupe color from my Lorac Pro Palette. Lorac, however you say it, I'm not fancy. Um, and I'm just using an angled brush to put that in my outer corner. I'm not even using any eyeshadow primer just because this is really light and I feel like it's meant to be kind of just a little bit, um, 
messy and not too polished because she's in Dauntless. Ain't nobody got time for like super polished eyeshadow when you're fighting a war. <laughs> Okay, now it's time for eyeliner. I'm just using a CoverGirl pencil. Once again, they're not cruelty free, but I'm using this up before I replace it with something that is. And I'm just going to line my waterline, my upper lash line, and a tiny bit on my eyelid. So this is going to be interesting. I feel like eyeliner is like the most important part of this though because it's such a big moment in the book or at least it felt like it to me when I read Divergent. So I'm just awkwardly lining my waterline now. <laughs> it feels so weird to like have the camera on while I line my waterline because it's such a strange thing to do. Um, but it accomplishes the look that we're going for here. And I am actually going to use the other end of this, which is like a styrofoam, styrofoam? Just foam, um, little thing. I don't even know what to call this, but I'm blending out that eyeliner because I feel like a more smudged look is what they describe in the book or Veronica Roth describes in the book, not they. And kind of what she wears in the movie, which is what we're going for, is to look like she does. <laughs> and so I'm just blending that out with this tip. I feel like that looks Triss-ish enough for me. Um, and I'm excited. I, I do love um, cosplaying. I don't have like very many costume pieces. But I think it's something that I might delve into more in the future because I really enjoy it and I love dressing up and acting and all of that. The only reason I didn't do the scene reenactment yesterday is because I just was feeling sick yesterday and that's why I didn't post a video. Um, I just did not feel good. I'm feeling much better today. I still have a little bit of a dry throat. But I drank tea this morning. I'm going to drink some water all day and try and stay hydrated. And we'll see if I feel better. Although I already am feeling much better than I did yesterday. Okay, so I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. Because what would a dauntless person be without some mascara? I feel like I look a little bit more like a raccoon than Tris, but you know. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to just apply some chapstick and that's it for lips because she doesn't wear like lipstick. That would be kind of strange if she wore lipstick while fighting. Okay, well. Do I look like Triss yet? I still need to do the tattoo. Can you tell I'm nervous? I'm avoiding it. <laughs> uh, I'm so scared. I'm totally gonna mess this up. Ooh. See, I could never be a tattoo artist. I am horrible at drawing or doing any type of art and I'm scared. I don't want to do this. I'm so scared. Cause like everything is going fine and then I'm gonna like attempt to do this and it's gonna fail. How? Oh my, oh my. <laughs> this is so scary. I'm literally painting eyeliner on myself. Uh. <laughs> is that a bird? Oh my. I'm so getting this wrong, too. <laughs> what? 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 I'm trying, I promise. <laughs> hey, it, on camera it doesn't look that bad, but like in person, it just looks like I have smudges that are slightly crow-shaped on my chest. 
<laughs> oh, but you know, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with it. Ah! Thankfully, the, my shirt is black, so whatever I end up getting on my shirt will just be not showing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this is so bad. I don't, these don't look like birds. They look like smudges of black ink. But you know, on camera it's not that bad. <laughs> oh my. So, that's a thing. Hi, my name is Tris Pryor and I did my own tattoo. Can you tell or can you like not tell that I did this on myself? <laughs> I wanted to go to the library, but now I'm like, I look like Tris and this is not me. It would be so weird. But I think I should go and take you guys with me so you can see people's reactions to what I look like. Especially the librarians because they know me and they'll be like, what happened to you? Because they probably won't, won't understand this because this just did not, nope. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed my silly little footage of me pretending to be Tris and be all fierce when that's totally not me. Um, but this was a super fun challenge and I hope you enjoyed watching it and I will see you tomorrow with another Booktubeathon video. Bye! Just saying. I'm not fierce, so I feel ridiculous doing this, but it's really fun. Mm -hmm.